This is a brushless motor propeller test setup that I devised uh, based on a very simple seesaw type principle. In this aluminum channel I have a bearing pivot point located right exactly in the center between a cup which I can fill with weights uh, that will impinge down on a digital scale to measure the force in pounds, grams, or ounces. On exactly the other side of the digital scale, the same distance away, I have a brushless motor into a, uh, an arrangement, a uh, shaft arrangement, and uh, spinning in this case a rather small uh, brass propeller. The Leopard motor in this case has a Eagle Tree speed sensor which connects to my Eagle Tree data logger. The motor is controlled by a 180 amp Seeking ESC, which in turn is fed through the Eagle Tree and a 5,000 milliamp hour 45C four cell battery. I control the speed of it as I've done before in my test with a little Astro Servo Eliminator. The output of my Eagle Tree is going to be displayed on an LCD panel. For those of you not familiar with it, I get four data outputs. I will have RPM, amps, pack voltage, as well as total watts consumed. My scale then, once I tear it in, I can set the weight, which in this case would be the force in grams or ounces. So the idea of the cup then is to add lead shot so I can pretty much seesaw balance the weight, tear it out, and then the thrust from my motor will be perfectly measured on the scale. And in this case, the force is down, so it's using the scale in the correct direction. So let's take this outside on my dock and give it the first go around. I've mounted my force measurement seesaw device. Get an idea of the pivot point right in exactly in the center of my channel. Again, we have my leopard motor and the propeller underwater. The depth of the water here is approximately four feet. We uh, have open water around us. It's open underneath the dock, so we have no container wall side effects as I had in some previous lab tests. The other end of the scale onto the display and you can see we're moved slightly so what I'll do is I'll tear this out. I'll do a first quick test. I have the scale on pounds right now. I have disconnected my eagle tree but uh, I'll show you something right now. So we're pulling about 1.8 pounds. Very interesting. So we're uh, going to be able to find out more data than what I anticipated, which uh, may be the start of cavitation on a particular pop. I'll do a first quick test. I have the scale on pounds right now. I have disconnected my eagle tree, but uh, I'll show you something. Right now. So we're pulling about 1.8 pounds. Cavitation bubbles and go away. 
very interesting. So we're uh, going to be able to find out more data than what I anticipated, which uh, may be the start of cavitation on a particular pop.